welcome back to my channel. My name is Sum Sum, aka Summer, aka Summer D Beauty, aka that makeup girl, aka that chick that I have a get ready with me tutorial on this look right here. And it is a very glowy, bronzy, cute summer look for this. I'm doing hair and makeup in this video, so it's gonna be kind of a long one, but um, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be great. I hope you enjoy. Grab your snacks, grab your drink, and you sit tight because this is gonna be a great video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as those three things help me improve as an artist, influencer, and a YouTuber for you all. Sit tight and keep watching. <laughs> mm. Yum! It's like you're ready with me. I don't really know where I'm going, but now I want to get ready for something because some way, somehow, I'm going out tonight with my girls, so I really want to be cutie like a booty and um, glammed up and might as well have filmed it for you guys because why not? I haven't talked to you in a long time. How's it going? How was the mom? How's dad? How's the cat? How's the kids? So I'm going to be using a couple of new products, a couple of new techniques, and I have a couple of new stories for you all too. Um, so I have my brows already done, of course, because they take me the longest, believe it or not, after all these years doing makeup. So I'm wearing, girl, like, let me tell you, Desi. So, this is my hair, Lindsay. The one I always wear in majority of my videos if I'm filming. But I've had for her for almost a year. I was getting bored of just the brown and being a morena. So I just wanted to be um, a rubia with this hair. So I did some blonde highlights yesterday but do not judge me because it's my first time dyeing hair well I did my blonde wig um that you might have seen on my Instagram but I really wanted to do highlights in her because I love her she's my baby my go-to my right or die I do have a look a little bit of damage in the front which is okay excuse the fireworks gunshots all that it's 4th of July so it's gonna be going around on the video so just stay and just ignore it, ignore it. So I wanted to add some highlights into this hair. I'm gonna start getting ready and sit back, relax, keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle and let's get on this makeup journey. First things first, y'all. Since I have my um, eyebrows done already, I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the um, face because that's just how I do things around here. It's brows, face, then eyes. If you have something to say, um, get out. I'm taking this primer. Um, I'm just gonna put some in my hands or whatever, but um, yeah, it's not really a tutorial. I'm not gonna show you guys how I do my foundation. I have a foundation tutorial, I'll link it below, where I get in depth about how I do my foundation. And you've already seen this stuff all the time, you know, prime, blah, foundation, blah, concealer. And this is the NYX Bear With Me Primer. So I'm using the NARS Radiant. Gonna see like doggone it. Damn fireworks. I chose the wrong day to film, honey. But anyway, so like in the recent topics of like social media, I have noticed that the beauty community as well as all the communities are low-key just like falling apart because everyone's trying to one up everybody, everyone's not focused on themselves and getting better with you know their careers and they're just not focusing on what the heck what they need to be i remember with the whole juvia's not it was juvia's place i have yet to try their foundation i was about to order it and then all that um chaos on twitter happened with the foundation and i'm just like oh do i really want to support that brand even though the product is good and I just didn't know if I really wanted to get into that and you know let my followers think it's okay that I support those type of behaviors when it comes to your business and if I was a business owner which I am going to be soon because we speak everything into existence words are powerful I really believe that you need to treat your brand like you would your child because I believe that if you are investing yourself, your time, your passion into um, something so um, known, one, 
and so important that um you know you don't need to make yourself look bad in any type of way and that's just me that is me also trying to really work on myself and how i am as an influencer not trying to bring personal life on social media because i feel like some people are like oh yeah like, i like so and so because they're real they don't hide stuff but i also am not trying to be until i make it to the point where i can be okay with being myself like i mean not being myself but like basically like free to post how i want and whatever because i'm at that status of opportunity in my career i'm gonna try to be as publicly clean as possible if that makes sense like i said once again i don't forget to like comment and subscribe like while i'm talking the button is literally right under this video so um but like just click it down below like it's right there so guys if you follow me on instagram you know i do keto slash low carb lifestyle i did keto for a good two to three months it was amazing but the minute you break your diet your body just goes into like a like a type of like hunger for that like a craving and i ate like one small piece of bread and I couldn't stop, like for a week straight, like I was like, I need bread, like bread, 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 like. And you think about it, food is like drugs to me. Like a lot of foods have a lot of additives and stuff for you to be addicted to it. Um, and I don't think bread has any additives, but like, if you, if you could be me for that day and see that like how badly I was needing bread, you would think I had not eaten in like a week i was like y'all can we please stop here so i can get something like it was just so bad and so unhealthy um but i just still am very i'm a low carb lifestyle i wouldn't say keto completely because keto is a very strict term i feel like low carb is a very loosely used term i just pat myself in the eye if y'all knew it was in this cup <laughs> But yeah, the so thing I have been doing lately with my makeup that has been making my like application like absolutely drop dead gorgeous is using the Laura Miel True Max True Match True Match Super Blendable Powder, and this is the shade W7. I found a shade that matched my concealer shade closely. This is the closest shade I could find that matched my concealer. I use this to set my under eyes, and I it was actually an accident. I was doing a client and forgot my loose setting powders. I only bought a compact pressed powder. I bought a translucent powder. And I bought, no, I didn't even bring a translucent powder. I only bought this powder in my thing. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I forgot my loose setting powder. How am I supposed to bake her face and make it last all day, blah, blah, blah. I just pulled it off. I said, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm just going to go with the flow and see how it works out. So I used this powder. I used the blending, a beauty blender. A booty blender like this one I took it just like this like I would a uh, loose setting powder like dip it in so I was rubbing it like this rubbing it on you know I'm just like yeah how's your day everything's going good great so I have it on the sponge like this and then I set her under eye like so and baby her skin looked so good as you can tell this like helps hide the under eye bags I think it's because it's a pressed powder, so the it's not finely grained like a loose powder would be, where it does not give the powder an option to be thin or spread out so easily. And I put it in all the places my concealer was, and my face looked amazing. I've been doing that ever since. Um, I didn't get any creasing throughout the whole day when I wear sunglasses I wear the big sunglasses they do not leave any marks on my nose it makes my skin look so good like what it looks so pretty I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dewy setting spray this is one of my favorite setting sprays glow today I'm gonna be using one of my favorite highlighters right now it's so amazing Oh, it's called Hustle and Glow by Wet n Wild. Look at it like, 
So as you can tell, I have my whole entire face done. So now let's get into the eye portion of this video. Today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. This palette came out a while ago. And this palette is everything you need in a neutral glam palette for all my girls that don't like a lot of color, but they also don't want to just do like a brown eyeshadow on their freaking eyelid every day. With the first shade I'm going to go in with is Burnt Orange right here. It's this really beautiful let's say nude shade right there it's a, I think it'd be really good um what's it called what is this freaking place called the crease transition shade one thing I don't like about this palette these palettes is the velvet covering like it's so cute and stuff but it gets so dirty darling I'm just gonna build this color up until it's as pigmented and blended as I want because this is a very fair shade in my book for my skin tone, so I have to build it up to the depth that I want. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Sienna. I'm actually gonna take it on a pencil brush. It's a Dalian Tools. So I've had this brush for a meaning, cause there goes the number. I don't know what this is, y'all. I don't know what this brush is, y'all. I'm still gonna take Sienna though. I'm gonna put it at the top part of my crease. Right here. Mm, you see? Can you say? What I'm doing right there, and I'm taking the blending brush. I'm gonna blend that out. My first concealer, I see whatever the shade. I don't care. This is 385 in the Infallible Wear L'Oreal Concealer. On another note, this concealer is the business. The hardest part about cut creases is trying to get them even. So the fact that I even did this is quite delectable. A lot of people don't understand how you get the cut crease all blended and looking cute. So now that my um, lids are cut, I'm going to be blending it out, preparing it for the lid shade. Don't just smack that lid on there or you're going to look crazy. If you want to do it like a pro, then listen up. Listen up. So I'm taking on like a little fluffy blending brush. I'm going back in with that Sienna shade, aka the deepest shade in the transition that I used. I'm gonna slowly start patting it on the outside. I'm just in the outer third. This is the eye is broken up the third, three parts. I call it like the white section where the white part of my eyeball is, that's the first third. Where the pupil is, in that middle section, second third, and then that white section um, of your eyeball, again, is the outer third. So one, two, three, it's in the column. So I'm gonna take it in the outer third, which is like that last section with the white column, and place that color right here. Okay? And just kind of put this color and kind of like dust it. Like I'm kind of just like dusting the color to gradiently blend with the lid and that crease we do everything in layers so when you take that little cute snapshot you see the blend in each layer you hear me we're just gonna go into that right now i'm gonna be taking the shade glistening and that's that top shimmery shade right here okay, before i was really interrupted by my camera battery i um was saying like i love this brush because it is a very thick eyeshadow brush and you can see she thick. So I just took the shade and I'm placing it all over the lid. Now this step is optional, but I just like to have a little bit more definition in my eye looks to add more layers to it. So I'm gonna go in with the shade hmm, Rustic and a little bit of Cypress Umber, just like a dab. Like I'm gonna go like this. And then like a dab of that on the outer, 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 outer part. All right, now that the eyes are done, I'm going to be taking a liquid black liner. I'm just doing a small line above my lash line, just so how I can have a place to lay my lashes. I always do this to make sure that, um, like, when you put on your lashes and you don't want any, like, if you don't put your lashes too close to the lash line, you'll still see the skin between. This is just to prevent that, blah, blah, blah. That's all I'm doing. I don't do a wing or nothing. I just do that little line. So now that the top half of my eyes are done, let's get that bottom half done. So the idea that I have for this look is to do something really nice, really cute. So I'm gonna be taking the little brush that comes with this little palette. It's literally so good, don't sleep on it. 
So I'm gonna be taking the burnt orange shade that I first used when I was doing like the transition shade and bring it on the bottom half and kind of connect it to the end of that shadow. Just that's how you get that beautiful blended look. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking that burnt orange again, but on the fluffy side and go back in again and blend that all together. So I think that this would really complete the look. This is the long lasting eye pencil essence in the shade T -t Turquoise. For the list, I'm just taking a brown lip liner. For lip color, I'm gonna be using Wet n Wild's Sin Nudes. This is so pretty. Now, this is the makeup, the portion of the makeup that is done. Ooh, let's take this. <laughs> Don't judge me, and I won't judge you, cause it can get ugly before it gets beautiful. Welcome to the hair portion of this video. I am Summer Belle, I'm going to be your model and hair dummy. So um, first things first, I really want to secure this wig a little bit because um, it's kind of just doing what it wants to do right now. And usually I'd be like okay with it because like, but like, hold on, my face is me, like everything should be perfect, but you know. I'm just gonna be taking some of this freeze bath spray right here. I'm gonna be spraying it on my hair right here, let me show you. Put my wig back. I'm taking some concealer. So I'm just gonna brush my hair and I'm gonna go through it with my Foxy Bay straightener. This part of the video is sponsored by Foxy Bay. So shout out to Foxy Bay for being a great freaking brand. I love you guys are family to me, so I'm gonna always support but I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I'm gonna take in their heat protectant spray of course because I put some highlights in this hair I really want to protect this hair from any extra damage so I'm using their spray I'm gonna use it all over my hair you guys have seen this in my how to get your hair straight in five minutes video I'm using their freaking amazing high demand straightening brush this is my favorite 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 thing ever gives my hair super straight and like I said, under five minutes. And it's super lightweight, so it doesn't get your arm all tired and everything. It has the safety twisty cord, or what's it called? The rotating cord. So you can move it any way you want without worrying about any type of difficulties trying to get it to work. But this is the freaking best. It goes up to 450 degrees. I have it on 400 as a safety double click feature. So when you are doing your hair and you actually grip it too hard, you won't turn it off or change alternate the temperature and it is amazing it doesn't get hot on the back so you can lay it on any surface and then it has all these combs inside like you would use a regular brush you just run it through your hair and it makes it super easy and it gets all the tangles out because it's detangling combing while heating and pressing your hair so i'm just going to go through many pieces of my hair it's super easy y'all just take it through your hair straight like that pick up pieces you can go over you can go under, but I just wanna, my hair's already straight, but I just wanna get it even more straight because it was pretty humid today for my hair. You can already tell the difference over here. This side is already really straight and really pretty. Pick this side as well. Literally it, guys. That's literally it. Just to finish off, I'm gonna be taking the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine anti Fears frizz serum for frizzy dry unmanageable hair and I just do one pump of that and one pump goes a long way I'm just gonna put it all over my hair and all shininess keeps help keep that healthy glow look in the hair all right guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial I will get ready with me tutorial hope you enjoyed it I had a lot of fun creating this look for you all of course like always all the products that I use on my face mentioned discussed bragged about, talked about, all of that is gonna be in the description box below. And all of my camera equipment, lighting equipment, editing equipment, editing software, all of that is gonna be also in the down bar below. As well as all of the coupon codes that you can use on all of the brands that I um, suggest I work with, all of that, all my coupon codes will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Those three things can help me be successful with my channel as well as create more content for you as well. So thank you guys once again for watching. You guys are beautiful, amazing. Stay motivated, stay hydrated in this weather, and I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Bye. Thank you so much.